Hi, my name is Carol, and I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit today about problem and case-based learning and whether that's the right choice for you to make in med school. So some of the objectives for this session, we're going to define what problem-based and case-based learning actually is. Then we're going to look in what the day in the life of each one of those is going to look like. And we're also going to discuss how to know if problem-based or case-based learning is the right choice for you to make in med school. So first, what is problem-based learning? So problem-based learning is actually a structure that medical schools use to surround the curriculum by a small group discussion with similar students um, and a tutor regulator that is present. So these discussions usually revolve around whatever particular issue you guys are discussing that day. It's going to be something pharmacological, something pathological, it could be ethics. It's very different, but usually you have the same goals in mind every day. So you're there to identify problems within the case and look at how would you deal with these issues. You're also there to set learning outcomes for yourselves. You're going to decide what is important for me to take away from this case and what will I use in the future when dealing with similar cases. Secondly, you're going to be responsible for learning key concepts. This can be different types of um, systems and the different physio physiological processes within those. It could also be um, the surrounding of like a different drug class or something like that. And lastly, you're going to be responsible for regrouping with follow-up sessions to discuss what you guys have researched on that topic after your initial discussion and share that with the group and hear everyone else's response surrounding that. So a couple of the pros and the cons with problem-based learning. So pros, it comes with a lot of teamwork. It encourages lots of teamwork in future healthcare environments. It's really good because in the future you're able to deal with lots of different kinds of people you're probably going to consider a lot of different specialities when you're dealing with your own problems as well secondly there's a lot of independence that it leaves you so it gives you a chance to learn what you think is valuable and bring it to a bigger group discussion and discuss with everyone else if they think that thing is also valuable as well and also to hear what other people thought was valuable and maybe adjust your opinion on something lastly there's multiple follow-up sessions, and those things leave you with a very good understanding of whatever topic you had discussed at hand. So you're going to have multiple sessions on the same thing where you're building on your knowledge over and over again. Some of the cons with problem-based learning, you have time and effort that's involved in taking care of these cases. There's a lot of coursework, and it will depend on you being self-motivated and consolidating that information on your own time. The information is also less direct. You have small groups, and the tutor is only there to regulate you and make sure you stay on topic. They don't really have much input in the top, in the discussion. Um, and additionally, there may be a bit of a knowledge inconsistency between your group and another group, depending on what you thought was important in that case, what they thought was important, and further where you got your research from and how the group responded to that. The last con of problem-based learning is that you are a bit dependent on your group at hand. So your group it depends on them being interactive. It depends on them bringing information as well as you and their willingness to learn and hear you out. It also depends on how much research and hours people are willing to do outside of their own coursework and their timetabled work, because that's going to add to your learning as well. So it's not just on you to bring all the information to the table. Next, we're going to discuss what case-based learning is. So case-based learning is also another course structure that surrounds patient cases at universities. So there's a variety of different learning styles that are incorporated in the course. So you have seminars and lectures. You also might have small group discussions. You'll have clinical skills labs. You'll have anatomy labs. There's a lot of different things that are brought together for this one. Some of the goals for this course are to prepare you for clinical practice. You go to clinical care very early on. You start clinical skills very early on. So it prepares you for your future life as a healthcare worker. There's a lot of clinical thinking that's involved. So you think about differential diagnoses, what kind of tests you're going to be running for specific patients and seminars you're going to discuss with a group of people, and then you're going to figure out what is actually correct and why you thought the way that you did. You're also there to review learning outcomes. So you're given a learning outcome and you're expected to know that learning outcome by the end of the session or how to describe it at the very least. 
So when you go in, you know what you're expected to know and you come out hopefully knowing what you were expected to know. Second and lastly, it gives you the ability to link information to one another. So when you like think about case-based learning, you have a case in the beginning of the year that might have been cardiology. And then you're going to go in later and you're going to go into maybe a renal case and you're going to discuss with that case how cardiology links into that case and how maybe a comorbidity would affect a patient in that state. Some of the pros and cons of case-based learning, it's very, very similar to real world um, situations. It's you have placements alongside your coursework to allow you to apply your medical knowledge in an actual real world setting. You're going to be able to examine patients who actually have pathologies. So you'll be able to see those signs in real life. Secondly, you're going to be, you're going to have a better memory associated with it because it has been proven that association with real patients or what the case has told you is a real patient allows students to better remember information because it's linked to someone and someone's experiences that you heard about. Lastly, the information is chunked together. So there's a lot of chunk and check that goes on to make sure your information is well understood. You'll have like a lecture on something and they'll chunk and check in there. You might have a seminar if it's a really important topic on it and they may as well chunk and check in there as well. For the cons of case-based learning, you have a little bit less focus on medical science. There's reduced emphasis on system learning and the principles of medical science. You also have less professor interaction. There's greater emphasis on small group discussion, but it also means you have less direct time with tutors because of lectures and things like that as well. And there's a lot of pre-work that goes into being able to understand the lecture. So in order to get what's going on around you, you really, really need to look at it before you go in so you're not completely lost. So by this point, we should all know what problem-based and case-based learning is. We're going to move on to what a day in the life would look like. So a day in the life of a problem-based learner you may wake up and do some case reading. You're, you have a discussion as a group, you make questions um, to go home and read about for the next group discussion that you may have, that may be your first thing. Second, you will go home and research those questions that you made in order to bring it to the next group discussion and so that you're prepared for your um, peers when they come with their new questions. You're going to be reviewing the knowledge throughout flashcards perhaps for an anatomy session that you have later that day, and then you'll go and attend that anatomy session. So you might be learning about blood vessels and heart. You might be prosection or dissection. It depends on the medical school. You could be covering basic life support somehow throughout that day, covering CPR and a circulation and airways approach. And finally, you might be going back to revise and understand the notes that you took from your last case study and make sure you really understand those things well. A day in the life of a case-based learning style, you'll start with a case launch. It might describe the basis of that case, as well as the patient's history and how they presented to hospital. You'll be able to go through the anatomy, which pre-work is required for that because you're, it's going to be the first thing that you lay your basis on. So it's usually followed by a lecture and some time in a, dis a dissection or prosection lab. Next, you're going to go into physiology of whatever that thing may be. So for example, if it was cardiology, you'd look at the anatomy of the heart and then you'd also go back and look on how the heart works. Some of the lectures are supplementary. You have some self-directed things. You also have some seminars for that. Then you'll look at the pathology of whatever organ system you're looking at. There's a lot of self-directed learning here and seminars for differential diagnosis. Then you'll look at treatment. So you're looking at non-invasive and invasive treatments for treating things like cardiovascular disease. So you could have some non-invasive treatments to treat things like obesity. And lastly, you might go to clinical skills to learn about how to take a cardiovascular history and a cardiovascular examination. You might also learn how to do venipuncture and all of those things are practiced in person at the, at the school. So by now we should all know what a day in the life of a case-based and a problem-based learner looks like. Lastly, we're going to discuss how to know if problem-based or case-based learning is right for you. So the first thing is, do you enjoy working in groups with your peers? Both of these have very strong emphasis on small group discussion and gathering information to come to a workable conclusion. So you're going to go in, and you're going to discuss with people how you think, how they think, and what you guys think is the most common approach to this. Secondly, do you value learning alongside your clinical application? You have patients that you go to see in hospital and you're going to end up learning with them and using your practical skill set to be able to go and examine those patients and learn for the future. And lastly, 
Do you enjoy independent learning? Do you learn well alone and have good self-motivation? You tend to have to have a good self-motivation in these types of courses because you're required to go home by yourself and do some research either before or after you go into that small group discussion. As well, are you willing to be proactive and take charge of your learning? Because otherwise, this might not be the course for you. And now we should have discussed all of the objectives for this session. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope it was helpful and it'll help you decide where you want to go to med school. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.